Hello friends, uh, welcome back to Bio and Nirmal and today we will be talking about sex linked inheritance. So before uh, going to understand about the sex linked inheritance, first of all we should know the genes which are present are located on the autosome and the sex chromosome. Actually in our body the two types of chromosomes are present, one is the autosome and another is the sex chromosome. The genes which are present in the autosome, these are called autosomal genes and uh, the genes which are present in the sex chromosome and these are called sex chromosomal genes and the sex chromosomes are of two types one is the X chromosome and another type is the Y chromosome so the genes which are present in the Y chromosome and these are usually called as the Hollandrid gene and just like that as KD skin, HY antigen gene, SRY gene and uh, the genes which are present in the X chromosome about the 300 uh, different types of genes are present in the X chromosome and these are called X-linked genes or sex-linked genes. So, sex-linked inheritance pattern is that the X-linked genes, before going to understand about the sex-linked inheritance pattern, first of all, we should know the X-linked or the sex-linked genes. So, sex-linked genes are those genes located, genes located on the X chromosome, located on X chromosome and these are called sex linked genes. 300 different types of genes are actually located in the X chromosome. 300 types of genes and uh, example hemophilia and color blindness and hemophilia and color blindness and today uh, I shall discuss you about the color blindness inheritance pattern. So color blindness. Okay. Clear? So, here I can tell you that uh, color blind, color blind people will be three types. One is the blue color blind, blue color blind and this blue color blind genes is located in the autosome and red color blind and green color blind and red and green color blind uh, gene, green color blind. So, red color blind and green color blind and these genes are located on the X chromosome. So how these genes are actually inherited from generation to generation uh, we will uh, study or examine about this and the red color blind people are called protanopia actually protanopia and green color blind people is called deuteranopia. Okay. Clear? Actually, uh, actually, uh, red and the green uh, color perception proteins are actually located in the uh, cone cells. Uh, color perception proteins are actually synthesized in the uh, cone cells, and uh, the uh, the proteins are actually synthesized from from a particular kind of that of the genes. And if any defect in these genes, that is the red perception protein or the green perception protein genes are becomes defected. So uh, the persons will be suffer from red and green color blind clear and uh, before uh, so that uh, before going to uh, discuss you about the color blind first of all I shall tell you about the phenotype and the genotype so if this is the sex linked inheritance so two sex sex will be formed one is the male and another is the female so first of all I shall tell you that if xc plus xc plus and here c plus is the normal gene c plus is the normal gene and C is the defective gene clear and C is the defective gene so XC plus XC plus will be normal and XC plus XC he will be normal but carrier but carrier and XC XC C is diseased C is disease and less than one percent female are actually suffer suffered from the color blind. But in cases of the male X C plus and Y, if uh, this is the uh, X chromosome and the Y chromosome male culture and show that this male is normal and X C and Y and this will be diseased. And here you can see that uh, uh, there are presence of the uh, 
so uh, only only one gene actually contribute a particular type of phenotypic character show only one gene only one gene control phenotype phenotype so this is called a hemizygous condition so this is called hemizygous condition and so hemizygous condition and so male actually suffered uh, more than that of the female uh, from sex linked inheritance disease about the 5 to 10 percent male are sufferer are sufferer because only one gene can actually uh, can actually sufficient for this uh, for this disease but in this cases the two genes will be required in cases of the female two mutant gene will be required so this gene and the this gene will be required but if only one gene present then uh, C will be normal but in cases of the male only one gene only one gene control the phenotypic character so males are more sufferer than the female so in the sex linked inheritance pattern the males are more sufferer than the female because the male shows hemizygous condition now let us examine the inheritance pattern by giving an example okay so i am just going to give you a, an example that is if there is normal female if there is the normal female and this normal female genotype must be xc plus and xc plus so xc is uh, x since the c genes is located in the x chromosome so i have uh, written this as that of the xc plus and uh, the diseased male so the diseased male and this will be xc and y clear okay and here i'm just drawing a checkerboard so this is the normal female and this is the diseased male and so uh, what will be uh, their offspring so what will be their offspring so this is the generation one if this is generation one so generation two uh, their offspring type will be so we should draw a checkerboard and suppose this is the female and male and here is the female so xc plus and xc plus okay and here is xc and y so xc plus and xc and xc plus and xc and xc plus y and xc plus y clear so here the defective genes are actually present uh, only in cases of that of the daughter so they are daughter because they represent two x chromosomes so carrier daughter and they are carrier daughter but they are normal male so that normal male okay so normal male and this is the normal male child so if they have the fourth child that is female female and male and the male so all male child are normal but the female get their genes from these diseased parents so this is the generation one and this is the generation two okay and if these females actually uh, and uh, in the generation three and in the generation three if these females suppose here is the female xc and they actually married with a normal male show carrier female with that of the normal male they married a normal male so the generation 3 will be like that so here is the female male okay so xc plus and xc and xc plus and y so xc plus xc plus xc plus xc and xc plus y and xc y okay so that so here is a carrier and uh, so he is the diseased okay so checkerboard and going to the checkerboard so this normal male so here will be female female so this female actually carried 
uh, it genes uh, from their father and uh, from one gene from the mother and here is the so the usually males are actually affected and this male is the diseased okay so this is the diseased so this child is the disease so in the in the first generation and here in the first generation uh, in the first generation the normal female and the diseased male and in the second generation all child normal all child normal but females are carrier females are carrier okay and here here a uh, female and the male one carrier and one normal and male one normal and one diseased okay so this disease actually appeared in the third generation okay so what will be the inheritance pattern and here i can describe you about that the, so that the uh, sex linked inheritance pattern is that the genes which are located on the x chromosome and these are actually called the x linked or the sex linked genes and the sex linked genes is actually transmitted uh, from the father to daughter and from the daughter uh, to the son and this is uh, so that the sex bias can be seen because uh, males are usually affected so in the sex linked inheritance uh, that is the grandfather from grandfather to daughter genes are actually transmitted from grandfather to daughter to the grandson and this type of inheritance pattern is called criss cross inheritance and this is called criss cross inheritance pattern okay and this is called criss cross inheritance pattern so in the sex linked inheritance pattern there will be uh, two important uh, features one is the uh, one is the criss cross inheritance pattern and another is the hemizygous condition so in the sex linked inheritance uh, uh, inheritance uh, diseases uh, usually the males are actually affected and the females are less affected so the sex bias can be seen and the genes are actually uh, transmitted from the father to daughter from daughter to son and uh, so this is the this is the way from that of the male to female and the female to male and uh, this is the way of the uh, transmission of the genes from generation to generation and another is the criss cross inheritance pattern i have already told you about that and the hemizygous condition so this is the uh, this is the all about the sex linked inheritance pattern and this this inheritance pattern will be also uh, uh, applicable in cases of the hemophilia or the bleeder syndrome so this is the actual concept of the sex linked inheritance pattern if you like my videos then you can subscribe my channel by nirmal for more updates so thank you guys thank you for watching my videos thanks